Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel and this is your January 2023 reading. I'd just like to say a big thank you for all the likes and subscribes and the support that my channel receives. I'm very grateful. If you haven't already watched your year ahead for 2023, I will put that as an end screen on this video or I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put a link in the description below to my sister's channel and some books that I have available on Amazon. Okay, Libra, what does January hold for you? Well, so far out, you've got the star and you've got the page of wands. Now, the star is about, yes, it's being guided. Um, perhaps you feel, as we're going into January, that you need a little bit of guidance, you need a little bit of support there. Perhaps you're unsure about a few things on which way to go. But I feel it's also a card about balance. You know, she's taking water out of what she's got one foot in there, a, a, you know, a foot on the ground. She's got the water out of the jugs. And you can see one has what she's got her foot in there. She's got more water than she has the other one. So perhaps you are leaning more than one way into something. But you are a star sign Libra all about balance. Obviously, the uh, little icon and picture that often um, is shown with Libra is the scales. So you are about balance. Perhaps January for you is about getting back into your power Libra. Feeling more about being yourself. Being in about being grounded. And that second card there, that page of wands, page of normally messages can be from friends or relatives. Perhaps you've got a message there that you need to keep grounded or perhaps somebody's got to give you a message about sort of balancing and grounding yourself because look what card we've got. It's quite interesting. So the card to the left of the page of wands, the star again, we talked about balance with this water here. But look what's the other side of that message from friends or relatives. It's the Queen of Cups. And look at her. She's really in control of her emotions. So it's almost like no matter what somebody's going to say to you this month. So there could be somebody, a friend or relative or a message that comes your way that could unskit or could unbalance you. But you're not going to let it, Libra, because you're really in your power this month and you are staying grounded you are staying balanced look at you there the star and the queen of cups you're focused on how you feel what you want to do and you're in sort of full control of yourself there and look at her she's sitting there and the waters all around her are calm okay that's also a card the queen of cups she's often um she's sensitive she's a good listener she's intuitive and don't forget um, Libra. This is a sign all about water, about emotions, about again balancing, it keeps coming into it. So I do feel for you this reading is sort of saying it doesn't matter what comes your way, it doesn't matter what happens. This, this message though could actually be positive. It could be about you coming into money. It could be about you know um, things around you being really good. The Ten of Pentacles there, completion, money, finances, could be abundance in some way. It doesn't have to necessarily be money, but some sort of abundance, whether it's physical, whether it's financial, whether it's, you know, it, it could be as in you know, somewhere better to, you know, whatever it is, could be um, some sort of thing given to you. But you're staying grounded you're staying balanced for some of you if something good really comes your way you could be thinking well this is too good to be true so I'm just sitting here and I'm not going to get too excited about it and we'll see what happens but definitely looking at you you're in full control of your emotions there is some sort of message coming your way and you're not going to allow it to fluster you you're going to stay balanced but I do feel it's good because you've got that ten of pentacles there it's a completion so this message is sorting out finances or some sort of abundance and again it's got the family in it, that card. So this is to do with emotions. This is making you feel secure, 
balance. You will be celebrating. We've got that three of cups there. So you will be celebrating. Definitely something to celebrate for you, Libra. So this is looking really, really good. A lovely positive reading here. Let's pull a card out to clarify that top row. And you've got the rebirth card. The death, the rebirth. So that's a lovely card to have there because we talked about you being really in power, really in control. So it could be that um, you've had a few emotional problems, a few, you know, a few feelings where you've not felt yourself. And January is your rebirth. January, again, we talked about the star. Look what's in this card here, okay? Shining brightly there. The star, it's your rebirth, it's guiding you. The universe is really helping you, Libra, and it's saying, come on, just head in this direction that you're going, just follow that star, just go where you're going, and it's all coming your way. You will be celebrating something. Something good is literally on the horizon for you. It's a rebirth. You are intuitive, Libra, okay? We already said with that Queen of Cups, she's quite intuitive. You've got the High Priestess here. Follow your intuition, like following the star. Follow your intuition, Libra, because really you know which direction you want to be heading in. You know what you want to do and you know you need to stay balanced. We've got the Emperor here, so that could be somebody helping you. The Emperor can also be about Dad. So for some of you, this situation could be involving Dad, but also it could be somebody giving you advice, okay? I don't necessarily think this is legal for you, but some sort of advice, some sort of help, some sort of support. If you've got something coming your way, whether it's financial or whether somebody's giving you something, perhaps there is something legal you need to tie up surrounding that or you just need to take advice on something to make sure everything goes the right way but it is looking good for you okay Libra balance is coming a rebirth you're following that star that you're guided to take and there's a card to clarify the bottom row and it's the three of pentacles okay You've worked hard for this. You've got things that you need. You're taking an advancement. Look at you there. I'm there working hard and everything's connected. You've got everything together. Whatever it is, you're moving forward in this rebirth, Libra. You've got stuff in place. You're staying grounded. Something good is coming that you're celebrating and you are moving forward. It's an advancement for you. It's positive. It's good. Remember, Follow your intuition in January because it's not going to take you in the wrong direction. It's your guiding star, okay? Let's have a look at your guardian angel message. And then we'll pull a couple of love and relationship cards. And we'll see what your guardian angels have to say to you for January 2023. Okay, and this card has come out and you've got the helper of action. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to plan first, but you probably don't have time. So get busy, follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone else is very self-assured, capable and enthusiastic. You can do anything with a smile. So yet again, another message about following your instincts, following your intuition. That's the big message of January 2023 for you, Libra. Follow your intuition, follow your star, follow your guiding light. It's not going to take you wrong. Wow, a lovely message there for you. Let's pull a couple of love and relationship cards. This reading is general, so it will resonate with everybody in different ways. For some of you, it could have already resonated in relationships. With others, it may be work. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So addictions, is that habits that you've got, you know, maybe smoking and drinking for some of you, your partner may not like it. For others, it could be, I don't know, losing your temper. It could be constantly changing that channel over when someone's trying to watch you. Now, whatever you do, so just look out for habits or anything that can sort of be affecting your romantic life. And then healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there are things to forgive 
from the past, okay? Remember you're moving forward. Remember you've got a rebirth. Remember you're following your instincts. And this is all positive. Your January reading is positive. So in order to stay in that positive frame of mind, you may have to forgive and heal things from the past, okay? So it's all looking good. Just keep your eye on your relationships there. Just make sure you're not ruining it in any way. Again, addictions, it could be, um, you know, anger, uh, to do with um, family issues that you haven't healed, that could be that could be what's simply affecting your relationship. And for those of you who are single, it could be that you've just got some things to work out first before you get into a relationship. So you can go into that relationship healed and free of baggage. Thank you for watching, Libra. Don't forget to check out my channel for other videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.